In all the many millions of poignant stories of the First World War, few match that of Jack Kipling, son of the famous poet Rudyard. Like so many others, it is one of duty and sacrifice. Unlike many others, Jack only made it to the trenches as a result of the influence wielded by his famous father. After Jack's death, Rudyard wielded that same influence to try and locate his son, but to no avail. The exact location of his body has remained something of a mystery until today. His father once wrote that if you can keep ahead when all around you are losing theirs, then you will be a man, my son. But quite what Jack Kipling thought of this as he prepared to go over the top can only be a matter of speculation. Jack Kipling's story was made into a film for ITV some years ago, and it was as sad as any can be, because he should never have been there. His eyesight was simply too poor. His father had moved heaven and earth to get him enlisted using all his fame and connections. But according to his comrades, Jack Kipling died whilst looking for his glasses out in no man's land. Kipling and his wife tried to find Jack's body. There have been confident assertions as to where he lay. A headstone had even been put up. But now a researcher claims to be absolutely sure after clearing up some confusion over the maps of the time. That then connects with a sergeant's witness statement who said, I carried John, who was wounded in the head, I carried him and I placed him on the left edge of the wood and I left him in a shell hole there because I believed he was dead. Roger Kipling never got over his son's death. He wrote a poem simply entitled, My Boy Jack. Have you news of my boy Jack? Not this tide. When do you think that he'll come back? Not with this wind blowing and this tide. Then hold your head up all the more, this tide and every tide, because he was the son you bore and gave to that wind blowing and that tide.